In today's video, we're going to talk about Halloween. When is Halloween? Halloween is celebrated on the 31st of October, usually in the evening or during the, uh, the late evening. How is it celebrated in your country? Halloween has got bigger over time. Um, people are getting more involved in Halloween celebrations because it started many centuries ago. The history of Halloween goes back to, well, several centuries. Um, people believe it originally started in what is now Scotland and Ireland with the Celts. They believed that uh, evil spirits started to appear at the start of winter. And Halloween was a time when they tried to frighten off the evil spirits. And how is it celebrated now in England? Well, people usually uh, dress up in costumes. Uh, they go out and do trick-or-treating and they have parties. What are some of the symbols of Halloween now? It covers a whole range of different things. People think of witches, skeletons, ghosts, uh, pumpkins, uh, black cats, anything that can frighten someone. What costumes do people wear? Again, there's a whole range of costumes available in some shops, such as pumpkins, witches, uh, ghosts, monsters. skeletons, monsters, yes indeed, yeah. Anything that looks frightening and would scare someone, especially spiders. Why do or don't you celebrate Halloween? I do. It's a time of the year when it gets dark early, so it's a long evening, and it's a time of excitement for children especially. So I think it's a good celebration. Does everyone go trick-or-treating? No, not everyone goes trick-or-treating. Some children do. Uh, and this involves going round dressed in a costume, going to uh, a neighbour's door or several neighbours' doors and knocking on the door or ringing the bell and say, uh, trick or treat. Uh, and the occupier of the house uh, can either give the children uh, some sweets or cakes or if they don't, then the children might play a trick on the householder. Do you normally buy sweets? I do, yes. I'll buy some sweets, just in case uh, children come to the door. And some people do parties at home. What are they like? I don't know. I, I've never been involved in a party at home. But I do know that some people do organise Halloween parties where uh, people dress up in Halloween costumes and uh, they drink uh, red wine, which they think is blood, uh, and have uh, sweets. I suppose that Halloween parties are safer for children than going trick-or-treating on their own. I imagine so. Uh, but uh, children are usually accompanied by their parents or by uh, older children. The next question is, what are haunted houses? Haunted house is a, a, usually an old house that has a ghost from the past. So when people stay there, then they may hear strange noises or feel strange movements within the house. And that's why it is called a haunted house. Do you think Halloween is scary or fun? Uh, in my opinion, it is fun. I'm not scared by things that uh, might appear at uh, Halloween. Uh, I just think it's a good time of the year to enjoy yourself. How old is too old to go trick-or-treating? Well, I wouldn't imagine that anyone over the age of uh, 16 would go trick-or-treating unless they were accompanied by uh, smaller children. It's mainly for children. And finally, what are things that you would do if you had a Halloween party? 
I would ask uh, everyone to uh, come in a fancy dress costume uh, as a witch or a skeleton, a pumpkin, a monster or similar things and I would dress the room up in things to make it look quite scary such as spider webs, spider webs and uh, ghosts and things like this uh, and then we would eat uh, things that are themed in a Halloween such as fingers and toes uh, and Are drink. they sweets? They can be sweets or they, they can be cakes. And we would also drink anything that is a red colour uh, to remind you of drinking blood. It's also a traditional thing to do something called apple bobbing where you uh, fill a container with water, put apples in the water and then the guests at the party try and eat the apple that bobs about in the water. It is something that is quite difficult but is good fun as uh, those that are doing it usually get very wet heads. We're now going to see some fun facts about Halloween. The tradition of carving pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns started in Ireland where people used to carve turnips. When this tradition was brought to the United States, the vegetable of choice changed as they had more pumpkins than turnips. For anyone who doesn't know the difference between pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, Pumpkins are the normal vegetables, whereas jack-o'-lanterns are the ones that we see at Halloween and they have their eyes and their mouths carved into them. The heaviest pumpkin ever grown was over 1,179 kilograms. That's over 2,600 pounds. There are actually festivals and competitions where these giant pumpkins are showcased. As you probably know, Halloween is associated with superstitions. I find superstitions quite interesting because, for example, in England, black cats bring you good luck and some people even take them to weddings whereas in Spain black cats are unlucky. It was believed that if you saw a spider on Halloween it was a spirit of a loved one watching out for you. Also if you heard footsteps on Halloween night, it might be a ghost. So you should just ignore it and don't turn around. Another fact is that sawanophobia is the fear of Halloween. This might be triggered by fear of costumes, masks or the supernatural. The name of this phobia comes from the word Saun, which was the ancient Celtic festival that Halloween actually comes from. As we said before, it marked the beginning of winter and the end of the harvest season. And it was thought that on the night of October 31st, the difference between the living and the dead was blurry, which meant that spirits could roam the earth. Another interesting fact is that in Spain, Mexico and other Latin American countries, they celebrate Dia de los Muertos, which means the Day of the Dead, around the same time. This day honours deceased loved ones, but it isn't like Halloween. 
It isn't spooky like Halloween. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video.